This is the day that the Lord has made. Come on, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you excited about being in the presence of the Lord today? Come on, people, God. Let's create an atmosphere that's conducive for the King of Kings to come down. Come on, are you excited today? Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we celebrate you. Lord, we thank you. Come on, the Word of God says, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Come on, can you praise God right where you're at? Come on, hallelujah. Can you clap your hands, people of God? Can you stomp your feet? Come on, lift up your voice with me today. Come on, he's mighty. He's good. He's wonderful. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, I don't know about you, but my soul cries out, hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on, clap your hands like this. Come on. Who knows he's your father? Come on, hallelujah. You may not have had a good relationship with your father, but he can cover you. He can protect you. He can love you like no one can. Come on, somebody shout out, Father. Come on, hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Come on, do I have some people that are free today? There's no change, hallelujah. The blood of Jesus has set us free today. Lift up your voice. Come on and clap your hands with us. Hey, make hey. a joyful noise. Glory. Come on. I mean, you know that hey. he's fine. Hey. Father, 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 we pray.
testify with your praise. And then there might be somebody out there celebrating. Come on and testify with your praise. He is Father. He is Holy Spirit. He is Comforter. He's Master. He's Savior. Celebrate the King. Woo. How many know there's nothing like the joy that he brings? Hallelujah. There's nothing like the joy that the King can bring. Hallelujah. He can set you on a firm foundation and let you know that you can stand firm. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on. Hallelujah. He can let you know by just a touch or a whisper. Hallelujah. That you belong to him. Hallelujah. But guess what? Make it personal. He belongs to you too. Hallelujah. You are a child, hallelujah, of God. Glory to the Lamb, hallelujah. Woo, glory to the Lamb of God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that all the glory belongs to him? Hallelujah. How many know that he's worthy to be honored? I want you to wave your hands if you are living a miracle life. Are you living a miracle life? Hey.
No more suffering, no more strife. It's all because I'm living a miracle life. Hey, hey, hey. No more suffering, no more strife. It's all because I'm living a miracle life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs. To you. All the glory belongs. To you.
for those children, hallelujah. It's because of your praise, my God. That the doctor said, I don't understand what happened, but you're okay, hallelujah. It's because of your praise, my God. How many know there was something that was supposed to happen, hallelujah, but then something just turned it right on around, glory to God. And you know the reason that it turned around, hallelujah, is because you stood up and you praised him. It's because you went in your prayer closet, Betty. And you said, God. That's it, that's it right there. Because you said, God. You said, God. I'm going to put aside everything. I'm going to put aside everything. So I can be in your presence, God. Mary, you said, I'm going to crawl my way to Miracle Life Center. You said, I don't care what I got to do, hallelujah. I'm going to lay whatever I feel down right now. And I'm going to get my way there, glory to God. There's somebody that needs a healing in their body, hallelujah. And they said, I heard about a place. I heard about a place. Woo! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You said, God, I laid it on the line, hallelujah. I laid it all on the line, Hallelujah. Some of you said, I went to school, God, hallelujah. I did this, I did that. God said, I just want you to rest in me, hallelujah. Because I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that nobody can come to me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Nobody's gonna come to him without praise. Can you come to him with praise? Can you come to him with honor? My God, you're worthy, God, you're worthy, you're worthy. Come on, I need some, some real soldiers out there who came to honor the Father. Hallelujah. Yes, that's it. Ra raise your hand. Lift your, honor him the best way you know how. Yeah. I see some tears dropping. That's right. And it's all good because God's going to catch every one of those tears. Hallelujah. Woo, let me tell you something. He is a protector. He is a savior. Mr. William, he's a good God. He's so good. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what God is good for. He'll change your mind. He'll change your heart. He'll set your soul on fire. He'll set you free. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. Because my Redeemer, He lives, He lives, He lives, He lives, He lives. And it's you, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer lives. My Redeemer lives. I came to say so. I came to say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord, let the redeemed of the Lord come on and shout, come on and shout, come on and shout, come on and shout. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. All the glory, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory. Yes, God, I came, I came to give it to you. My precious Savior, my God. My precious Savior. Woo! 
the lion and the lamb. He's your lily in the valley. Because when you were in the valley, he stuck his hand down and he said, come on, I got you, I got you. You're mine, you belong to me, I got you. Oh yeah, I hear the cry. I hear that war cry, hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, honor him, yes. Thank you, God. Woo, yes. Come on and shout to him with a voice of triumph. Woo. That's it right there. Give it all you got. Because he gave you all he had. Hallelujah. And then some. That's it, Becky. Come on and somebody run with her. Shout with her. Hallelujah. Praise with her. Woo. Oh yeah, you came for an experience that you could believe in. You're in the right place. Because there's no more suffering. There's no more strife. You're living a miracle life. Hallelujah, God. Woo! It's Pentecost Sunday. Glory to the Lamb. He's the great I am. The great I am. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, God. My spirit said yes. My soul said yes. Hallelujah. By his stripes you are healed. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Woo. Somebody said, God, I need you to help my marriage, God. Well, he said, I'm going to make it right. I'm going to make it so. I'm going to do everything because you asked me. Hallelujah. My God. My God. My God. Somebody said, I love my husband. I love my wife. God, make it right for me. Oh yeah, God, we're gonna come in agreement today. We're gonna come in agreement today. We're gonna come in agreement today. That's it. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, we're gonna come in agreement today. Uh-huh. Praise him. Come on, y'all, praise the Lord. Everything that you ask for, he's gonna give it to you. That's it. Come on, you got your celebrating the shoes on. You got your celebratory shoes on. you to let out your best praise hallelujah because God did it for you hallelujah he did things that were so miraculous you said how did this happen God you said how did this turn around for me you said how did I get healed God you said how did this financial blessing hit my mailbox you said God if I just if I just say one two three I want y'all to go ahead and give it to me y'all ready come on y'all ready come on I want you to give it all you got one two one two Two, three, hey!
just happened? Guess what just happened? Breakthrough just happened. You just got a breakthrough. Hallelujah. You just praise him and everything that's going to happen. Woo! To you this week is going to be by his grace. Woo! That's it.
when I think of your mercy, God. I know that I'm justified. I'm justified. Wonderful, for he is mighty, for he is good. The presence of the Lord. If you don't feel anything right now, I don't know what to tell you. I suggest you close your eyes, lift up your hands, and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Come hallelujah. on. Come on and praise him. Hallelujah. First lady in the praise team has set this atmosphere. Come on. Can we bask in his presence just for a few moments? Thank you, Lord. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. It is Pentecost Sunday, right? It's something about Pentecost. I believe they kept seeking God, worship him, till the fire came down. Do I have some people in here right now that's willing to do that right now? Seeking him, worshiping him, waiting till the fire comes down? Come on, hallelujah. Come on, it's simple. All you have to say is hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a refreshing going on right now. Hallelujah. If you begin to say hallelujah, hallelujah, he can restore you. He can revive you. Hallelujah. He can renew you. Hallelujah. A 
simple hallelujah can change your life. Hallelujah. It brings peace. Seek him. Whatever you're going with, lift up your hands and surrender right now. Lift your hands. Give God your undivided attention. Come on, you've come to experience him today. You didn't drive all the way out here. Just come on. Close your eyes and lift your hands and see him with your heart. Come on. Up in this place.
churches is an experience. Hallelujah. Come on, he's real. Somebody say, it's real. It's real. Just lift your hand say, he's real. Real, real. Just, just soft. He's real. Oh, God, he's real. He's real. Oh, God, he's real. Come on, let the love of God fill your heart now. Let him break the foul of ground. Hallelujah. This is real. He's real. Come on, if you believe it, come on. Oh, he's real. Oh, my God. He's real. Oh, yes, he is. He's real. My God is real. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, first lady. He's real. Take it. He's real. Jesus is real. Come he's on. real. He's real. Hey. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. Come on, the fire. Come on. He's walking among us now. Come on. Oh, he's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's real. He's so real. He's so real. My God, you're real. He's real. I said he walks among us. He's real. He's touching you right now. He's real. He's touching someone right now. He's real. Oh, he's real. I mean, no, he's real. I want you, if you don't know, I want you to know before you leave. You're looking at a person. I, I still give this testimony. I'm 50 now. But before the age of 21, arrested 17 times. And I experienced him as real. Similar to what we're doing now. And he's been real to me ever since. Come on. Come on, somebody, if you believe it. Come on, give me praise. He's real. He's real. He's real. My God. He's real. He's real. Come on. He's real. My God. He's real. 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 You know, I told God I'd go as hard for you, ten times harder than I did for the devil. Come on. Come on, somebody. I would stay out all night in the world and close the club down. Come on, somebody. That's why I go so hard for God. Come on now. If he can save and deliver me and visit me, he can do the same thing for anybody. If you believe that, you ought to shout, he is real. He's real. He's real. My God. He's real. He's real. My God. He's real. 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 To me, 
Come on, just a few more, few more moments. Right where you are, I want you to have a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus. Come on, right where you are. Close your eyes. You don't see God with these eyes. You see God with your heart. Sometimes these eyes get in the way. Because you, you're looking for everything. You close these eyes and look with your heart. You don't see love with your eyes, do you? You see love with your heart. It's similar with God. You don't see God with your natural eyes. You see and sense God with your heart. Come on, close out everything on the outside. And with your heart, I want you to open the door to him. Come on. Even if you are saved and love the Lord, come on. Let's have a moment with him, can we? I want you to have a holy moment with your father and his son, Jesus. Because he's real. Oh, yes, he is. He's real. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Not height, death, nothing. His love is real. His love is real. His love is real.
presence of the Lord. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm telling you what, what an awesome worship we're in right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like the presence of the Lord. Come on, can we give him one more shout of praise? Nobody. Can we do something? I sense the presence. Just play for just a moment. Just continue to play. Everybody lift your hands. Come on. We're just going to let you. We're not even going to sing. We're going to let you minister to the Lord. Those out here. praise you father oh we celebrate you today this is that come on this is that come on if you believe that who's living a miracle life come on are you living a miracle life oh come on say it like you mean it are you living a miracle life come on the presence of God is in this place come on hallelujah 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 nobody like you Lord 
We rejoice in your presence, Father. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your dunamis power. Hallelujah. We're so excited about what you're doing in this house, God. The great move of God, led by the friend of God, Apostle Collins, God. Oh, hallelujah, we adore you, Lord. Oh, where would we be without your presence in this house, God? Oh, we thank you for transformation, Father. For your word says, who the Son sets free is free indeed. I thank you that we're able to walk in newness. I thank you for the Spirit, Father. Hallelujah, that we're not worried about what man does, what, what anyone else does, God. But we come in this place to worship you, God, and to flow in the Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We're hallelujah. This great move of God, this revival, Father. The fire of God coming down right now. Do you feel it right now? Do you feel the presence right now moving in this place? Nothing about Jesus. Where would I be without his blood? Where would we be about the anointing? Where would I be without his love? Come on, is there anybody that feels like I do today? Oh, they can dance before the Lord. Hallelujah. Not be ashamed. Not to be afraid. Oh, we love you, Father. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Oh, praise is what we do. We've been designed. We've been created to praise him. Come on. We've been made in his image. Come on. So why would we praise him? Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. He has set us free. Come on. Almost everybody in here that I'm looking at has had a face-to-face -face visitation. Come on. This is a glory house. Father is in this place. The presence of God is in this place. Come on and praise him. Come on and love on the Lord. Lift up your voice with me. Come on and give me praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. Oh, we thank you, God. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm on a transition. In. <laughs> hallelujah. We bless you, Father. Come on, hallelujah. Every time we have service, you got to be here. Amen. You never know what to expect. An experience that you can't believe in. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Welcome, hallelujah, to America Life Center. Let me try that one more time. Welcome to America Life Center. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Led by Apostle Chad Collins, amen, and First Lady Molly. Hallelujah. We're so excited that you're with us today. Amen, amen. And if you are watching right now on Face, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, amen, we want to give you a special shout out as well. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. If this is your very first time watching and you're connected with us online, amen, let us know where you're watching from. Hallelujah. What city, what state, come on, what country, global, hallelujah. This is a global ministry. Glory be to God. Amen. And if you're with us in person, Hallelujah. Thank God that you're with us today. Amen. Do I have any first-time visitors that this is your first time today joining us? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome you here. Amen. To America Life. It's exciting already. Praise God. It's dynamic. The power of God is moving right now. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do a few announcements. Praise God. Always, every Monday, we have our prayer calls. Amen. They are powerful and supernatural. We have a noon prayer call, which is Central Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, led by Sister Bonnie. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's fantastic. It's dynamic. And also that evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Minister Cassandra leads a prayer call in our Louisville location. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you what, I'm so fired up. I just thought about the school of prophetic. My goodness. Hallelujah. And come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. Revelation after revelation after revelation after revelation after revelation. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, this Saturday will be our, uh, we will be concluding the school of prophetic. Everyone that had registered, amen, by the show of hands. Have you been enjoying what God is doing? Amen. Through Apostle Collins. Also, if you're watching, amen, on whatever platform, have you been excited about the School of Prophetic? And Prophetic is online. The School of Prophetic is a webinar online. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for what God is doing. I'm telling you, I'm true. The revelation, I'm telling you, I was in awe the whole class yesterday. Amen. 
I'm telling you, we thank God for that teaching gift, amen, that's been bestowed upon Apostle Collins. Amen. I share with him all the time. It's amazing how he's able to unlock it. I've been pastoring. I've been preaching most of my life. Amen. But it's something when he breaks it down. Amen. When he expounds on the scripture. Amen. It's like I knew it, but then that revelation hits. I'm telling you, it's so exciting. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're looking forward to our last class, amen, in the School of Prophetic. I know Apostle is going to be doing more schools virtually, so we're so excited, amen, amen. Be on the lookout, 2BA, amen. Also, next week, I think it is uh, May 30th, we will be in our Louisville location. That is 6706 Terry Road, amen, at 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 930 a.m., Central Standard Time. Hallelujah. The great move of God is here. Come on. The great move of God is here. Glory be to God. And, and we're not sure exactly. I know Apostle will come up in a little bit to talk about our June schedule. So also be on the lookout for that as well. Amen. We will still be in person. We're not sure exactly how we're going to do it yet, but we're so excited to have you today. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Nobody like the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you stand to your feet one more time? Amen. Hallelujah. As we prepare to transition, amen, into another praise and worship Ooh, song. There is nothing like the presence yes. of our Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is so good, church. He is. He's good. He's worthy to be magnified. When I think of what we have here, it's so important because everyone's talking about revival, 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 but that's wonderful, but visitation is what we're here for we're here under a, a different cloud we're under a different fire you know it's just something so special about what the miracle life center represents what we do here hallelujah hallelujah and i'm so thankful for all of you that came in today and to those who drove from louisville god bless you all give yourselves a hand clap hallelujah <laughs> amen many know that the spirit is welcome here are you here today to welcome him come on let's just worship the father don't even look at us just fixate yourself on the Lord set your affections on him it's almost like we're not here just love on him with all your heart might and soul Go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and talk to him. How many know that? Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long. To be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare your living hope, your presence, Lord. Come on, don't let anything distract your praise. I've tasted and seen, I hear you, of the sweetest of love. Where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Come on, sing it with me. Your presence, Lord. Come on, you guys sing with me. Say, Holy Spirit, come.
tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame
the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Make us aware, 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 make us aware. Make us aware, make us aware. Let us speak, let us speak, more aware. Come on, lift your hands up. of your presence. Come on, be more aware of His presence. Come let on, experience the glory experience of His goodness tonight. The glory Hallelujah. Of your goodness. Do you want to experience Him? Are you aware of His goodness? More aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your good. Let us become, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Come on, all over the place, give God some praise. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Wow, they did just a wonderful job setting the atmosphere. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bless your God. Nobody like Jesus. Praise God. What an awesome time in the Lord. Amen. How many excited to be back in the house of the Lord? I believe in June, we'll give you the, uh, the particulars, but I believe we're going back to our regular schedule in June. Amen. So we're excited every Sunday. Praise God. Praise God. We have some other news that we're working on. We won't announce that just yet, but there's some other things we're working on as well. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks, Chad. You know, you kind of remind me, you know, when they play tennis and that little person runs past real quick and gets the ball. <laughs> Praise God. God is so good. Amen. Nobody likes you. Open your Bibles to Acts chapter 2. Welcome to Miracle Life. We're going to get right into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Father. So excited. I mean, such an atmosphere, such a presence. I want you to have a real experience. Those that are visitors, welcome to Miracle Life. Amen. We're going to teach and share the word of the Lord. Now, I'm going to warn you, in Miracle Life, anything might happen. You know, the Bible said we have seen strange things today. So there is a warning label when you walk in this place. Supernatural. If you haven't heard, you're going to find out. So this is not church as usual. It's not, it's not the ordinary Sunday evening church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is supernatural. I mean, that makes sense to me. Our Jesus rose from the dead. That's supernatural. This is not the religion. We, we're talking about a man that was dead for three days and three nights and got up and was made the head of the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're not just talking about some ordinary bishop or preacher. We're talking about Jesus, the son of the living God. In him we live and move and have our being. If you believe that, hallelujah, give God some praise in this place. So turn to somebody and say, ordinary just won't do ordinary just won't do. I just warn you in advance. Praise the Lord. I have a tendency. I'll let you know. Some of you visiting, I have a tendency. I have a tendency. The Holy Ghost will start talking to me. I might call you out and tell you all about your business, but I love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And the reason why that may happen is just let you know God is in the place. Amen. 
that God is in the place. Praise God. Praise God. Now, I'm a, 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 just felt fire go right through me. Just felt fire go right through me. My God. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Woo. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, some of you may be wondering, what's all that about? It's because we welcome him in the presence of the Lord. We can sense him moving. Bible says where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am. There I am. There I am. When Moses was standing before the burning bush, he said, what's your name? He said, tell her I am that I am. The great I am is in the place. I am that I am. He's too much to explain. Just know he's, he's the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, lift your hands, give him a wave offering. In Jesus' wonderful name. <clears throat> In Jesus' wonderful name. 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 Paul said, I didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom. But the demonstration, demonstration of the power of the Spirit, that your faith will not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody say demonstration, demonstration, demonstration. We serve a God of demonstration. He likes, he likes to display his power and his glory that you may get the, get the right story. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. 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 It's not church as usual. Hallelujah. Have you not heard the Bible? Hallelujah. Acts chapter 2, verse 14. This is that spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, saith God, I pour my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Upon your head, means and your servants shall I pour out my spirit. Hallelujah. I mean, we're living in the last days. And the spirit of the Lord is here. This is that spoken by the prophet Joel, my God, there's nobody like him. Glory to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Glory to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Maku'u Shepa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I told you it's not church as usual. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go ahead and drink. It's you and the Lord. Martha, and you and your mother, could you come? I keep seeing the Spirit of the Lord over you and your mother. Could you come up front? Hallelujah. Help me out here, Pastor Lonnie. Hallelujah. You're on both of you as we continue to worship. Yes, yes, come, come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your Father. Bless your Father. Bless your Father. Bless your Father. Bless you. God is doing a work in Mother. I want you to tell what the doctor she did reported and said they thought it was cancer and all these things. Give us an update of what's going on. Uh -huh. just, just bring up her pastor, Don. Hallelujah. Give it to Martha there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Actually, um, she went in for surgery February. They did a mastectomy. Mm -hmm. But while they were in there, um, they typically take two lymph nodes and have those tested of the two the two did have tumors one had a micro tumor the other had a macro which is greater than two something so they took more they took um, a total of seven more nine all together seven more and of the seven four had the macro the larger tumors and um, so anyway We've been through a couple of appointments already with the oncologist, but um, she said by the textbook, by yes, so, uh, so yeah. many lymph nodes involved, mm -hmm. she's supposed to have chemo, radiation, and the pill in that order. And, um, but she asked, <laughs> she asked for now. permission, because um, she said, I'd like to do some testing on those tumors. And, and uh, get some further information, do a CT scan to see 
if it may have spread elsewhere. Come on. The CT scan was clear. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Move her on the carpet, son. Move her on the carpet, Pastor Don. <laughs> Hallelujah. I left out the part in between all this. We had service here on Mother's uh, Easter Sunday, and you know, my mom was prayed for. And um, but anyway, um, CT scan was clear. They got the testing back on the tumors, and they said that um, they were puzzled <laughs> because. For it to be, for it to have been so involved into the lymph nodes, it was a really, really slow cancer. And they didn't understand that. But because of that, they said no chemo. And they recommended radiation just because. So we're complying, but we're trusting the Lord. Not even the sins of smoke, you know, just like the three children went into the, you know, furnace where we're, she's had two already because they had warned us that the radiation could possibly burn part of her lung part of just to just to treat the area but we're trusting God for that as well amen and we believe God and let me let me help yeah. translate all everything that the yeah. doctor says supposed to happen didn't happen amen 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 we lose that anointing hallelujah <laughs> We loose that anointing. Come on, we give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. It, the healing is already working in her body. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Anybody else standing in for cancer, I want you to come up here right now. Anybody dealing with cancer, anything doing with cancer, come quickly. You know someone standing in for cancer while God is moving. You want to come quickly right now in Jesus' name. My God, there's nobody like the Lord. Come on as a point of contact. We hate cancer. Come on, somebody. We hate cancer. Anybody else, come quickly. Any, anybody else, in the name of Jesus, why the Spirit of God is moving, why the testimony has been told. My God, my God. Father, we thank you for the anointing. We thank you as we stand in agreement right now in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, in the name of Jesus, four, four, four. My God, we loose that anointing from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We thank you, Lord. Come on, God is releasing his anointing. Anyone else dealing with cancer of any, in, any, in any regard, dealing with cancer, believe God as a point of contact. Nobody like Jesus. Come on, lift your hands all over the place. Come on, lift your hands all over the place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Not church as usual. Not church as usual. Hallelujah. 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 Is that Joy? Joy, come up here for just a minute. I want to pray with you. I was going to get into the Word. Come bring as quick as you can. Come on, fellas. Hallelujah. I think y'all guys have been out of practice a little bit. Hallelujah. Please bring them all the way on the carpet. We don't want them on the floor. We want them on the carpet. Hallelujah. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I said in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I know you gave a testimony, but I haven't talked to you other than when you called the other day. But in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, when I was praying for Mary, I saw you. And I saw four. I, when I saw four, it wasn't for her. Four was for you. Four, four, in the name of Jesus, four days ago, says the Spirit of the Lord. Four days ago, says the Spirit of the Lord. You, God had been blessing you, but four days ago, you had a mighty attack. You had a mighty attack even in the realm of anxiety. But the devil has been defeated. Uh, and the devil's been attacking your mind trying to take your mind but the devil is lost again and right now we stand as the church of the living God we break the power of the enemy we rebuke its power off of you and we loose the anointing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet we loose that anointing my God hallelujah hallelujah 
Hallelujah. 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 The glory is on us so strong. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, she wants to say something. Absolutely. What God has done to you. Absolutely. Just one guy with a mic. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to just give God the praise today because yes. he spoke to me. I heard you saying about how God speaks to you sometimes. I've heard that from an inner voice. Or yes. I was on the table, and I was about an hour on there, and I have claustrophobia and stuff like that. I've been praying and using Bible and saying, greater is he that is in me yes. than he's in the world. Yes. And I was saying, God, help me and hold me and hold me and shed, uh, hide me under the shadow of your wing. And all of a sudden, when I said that, it's just like this voice inside of me. It sounded almost like me, but it's yeah. loud. And it says, Novella, mm. I got this. He said, no, <laughs> 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 Hold the a, mic to him. And I haven't been afraid since. Haven't been afraid since. Hallelujah. My God. Come on, somebody give Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Help her back. The Spirit of God's on us strong. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're going to teach now. Open your Bibles to Acts chapter 2. Amen. You saw a little demonstration. Now we're going to teach the word. This is the way it should be done. When you deal with the prophetic and the apostolic, it's one thing to have demonstration, but you have to have understanding in the word of the Lord. A lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these, a lot of these. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God's only so strong. A lot of these guys do a lot of demonstration, but they don't teach you nothing. So then you get off into fanaticism, don't know what you're doing. You got to be grounded and rooted in the word of the Lord. One thing you're going to get here in Miracle Life, you're going to get taught the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to get taught the word. You're going to get prophesied to. Miracles going to happen. And then we're going to sit you down like Jesus and teach you the word. Hallelujah. We're going to give you the Greek, the Hebrew, the Latin, everything in between. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many ready to get taught the word of God? Hallelujah. Somebody shout the day of Pentecost. I want to read the scripture, and then we're going to share the word of the Lord that he gave me this morning. And when the day of Pentecost, Acts 2, 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, somebody say suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as a uh, rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language and they were all amazed and marveled saying one to another behold are not all these men which speak Galileans and we hear then it goes to all the different countries and nations and different dialects that they begin to speak and verse t uh, 12 and they were amazed and were in doubt saying one to another what meaneth this others mocking said these men are full of new wine but Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said to them you men of Judea and all that dwell in Jerusalem be this known unto you and hearken to my words for these are not drunken as you suppose sin is up at the third hour of the day but this is that which was spoken by the prophet joel and it shall come to pass in the last days except god somebody say last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions, and on your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Father, thank you for the reading of this word. Give us ears to ear and eyes to see and a heart to receive your word today. Somebody give Jesus praise. Now, I, I, I want to show you the word of the Lord because the word of the Lord, the Bible is not unlike any other, any other book. Many times you can look at the surface and still miss some of the more valuable things because sometimes you have to dig. 
my father, my dad, God bless his soul as he's with the Lord now. He was one of the few minorities years ago. He used to try to get into gold mining and he owed property rights. And we used to, as a, as a young man, he would take me and we would see these different things. And so I have a, I've been exposed to a lot of things as a, as a person. And, uh, and anyway, so uh, in, in, in mining, many times the deeper you go, the more valuable the resources. The Bible's like that. Sometimes you've got to go beyond the surface and get a little bit deeper to find the true valuable things what God is saying. So in this text, God is showing us something very, very valuable. And I want to share that with you today. God is really doing something in you. <laughs> my God, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, my God, hallelujah. It's never, it never gets old, amen? It never gets old, amen? Somebody say Pentecost, Pentecost. Now, I'm going to spend the next few minutes really teaching. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm gonna get a, a, a little deep on you. Is that all right? Not real deep, but I want to give you some nuggets from the word of the Lord. Some might say Pentecost. When you leave here, I want you to know what Pentecost is. We do know as spirit-filled people, we understand speaking in tongues and the power of the spirit and those so forth. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper even with what Pentecost actually means. The word Pentecost, it means 50. Penta means 50. Cost means festival. So 50, somebody say 50. It's an ancient celebration in the Old Testament of the Jewish people uh, uh, under the Lord, under the law. And what it was, it was a celebration of the end of the grain harvest and the start of the wheat harvest. Please get this is important. Uh, it was the end of the grain harvest, but the start of something new. Pentecost also represents God starting something new. Hallelujah. Now, what happens is we have to dig a little bit deeper to know how new it really is. Thank God for the spirit, the anointing, the gifts of the spirit. But there's even things that Pentecost brought that's even deeper than we realize. In other words, the word uh, a penta means 50. It was 50 days from Passover. Somebody say Passover. It was seven days consecutive weeks plus one day which makes 50 from passover so passover we understand was this was the sacrifice of the lamb we know we see that in christ jesus died on the cross for our sins how many know that's true he died and rose again when he rose again he, that all happened during the feast of passover so pentecost is actually 50 days from the conclusion of passover so just like the hebrew calendar of the festival of passover 50 days after that was the outpouring of the holy ghost now it's not a coincidence that the spirit of god was poured out uh, coordinating with the Feast of Pentecost. The Feast of Pentecost was a celebration of God's provision for his people. Let me take you back to the ancient days so you can understand what the Feast of Pentecost was all about. The Feast of Pentecost is where the people brought their best grain offering. Remember, this was the end of the grain offering and the start of the wheat offering. So they would bring their best grain offering. In other words, they would bring their best offering to the Lord. Come on, somebody. Now, this is so powerful. I really want you to see some things because you can see the heart of God. So what they would do is they bring their, their best grain offering, but under one condition. The harvesters, those that own the land and those that harvested the land, had to leave the edges, had to leave the corners uncleaned. Why? That was for the poor and the immigrants. Leviticus chapter 3, verse 22, it was God's welfare system. Oh, y'all quiet on me. Come on now. It was so powerful. Matter of fact, y'all read the story of Ruth? What Ruth, when she met Boaz, she was gleaning on the outer corners. Because she was an immigrant, she was a Moabite. So none of that was allowed to be touched. It had to be untouched and left for the poor and the immigrants. Come on, somebody. So as they were, as they were gleaning, uh, Ruth was gleaning on the hour part, she met Boaz. See, it doesn't matter where you start, amen, but when you find favor with God, all that matters is where you finish. Oh, I hope I got somebody to know how to shout to the Lord. See, many times, I've said this before, you have to understand the heart of God. Sometimes we can misconstrue God and not understand his heart. Understanding his heart, you begin to understand his ways. It's very, very important. Somebody shout, it's very, very important. 
So during the Feast of Pentecost, they were not to glean the outer corners. That was left for those that were poor and those that were immigrants. So we must understand that's very, very important. So now as we move forward, we must understand the first Pentecost. Somebody say the first Pentecost. The first Pentecost was established in Moses. Y'all remember when Moses and the children of Israel came out of Egypt? Before they came out of Egypt, they ate of the Passover. And then we know the story that the plague and the, and the firstborn died in every house except for where the blood was placed upon the, on the doorpost. And we know that all of Israel came out and they crossed the Red Sea. Well, when they ate the Passover, it took 10 days for them to get to Mount Sinai. And then Moses went up into Mount Sinai for how many days? 40. 40 plus 10 is what? 50. That was 50 days from when they ate Passover. And Moses came down. When he came down, he came down with the law. When he came down with the law, the Bible says because they disobeyed God, 3,000 people died that day. That was the introduction, watch this, to Pentecost under the Old Testament. Somebody shout 3,000 died that day. Oh, my God. But thank God he didn't leave us under that Pentecost. You can read that in Leviticus 32, verse 18. 3,000 souls died in the inauguration of the day of Pentecost under Moses. Now, you must understand that Moses represented something. Moses, watch this, was a mediator or intercessor between God and the children of Israel. So, but Moses was not as great as Jesus because Jesus now is our intercessor. Hallelujah. So Moses, watch this. It was, it was 50 days and Moses came down with the law. Jesus rose from the dead. The Bible says he appeared to the disciples for 40 days. And then 10 days later, he, the spirit came down. So under the law of Pentecost, the law came. But under the New Testament, under Jesus, the spirit came. Watch, this is so powerful. When the law was given at first, 3,000 died. When the Spirit was given in Acts chapter 2, the Bible says 3,000 were saved. Do you see the difference between the old and the new Pentecost? The old Pentecost, watch this, was an inauguration and an introduction of the law, the Ten Commandments. Huh? But the New Testament Pentecost was an introduction to the Spirit of God. Under the old Pentecost, they had to live under the law. But under the new Pentecost, we live under the Spirit. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, those that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. Under the Old Testament, they were only servants. But in the New Testament, we are sons and daughters. Know ye not that you've been adopted by the Spirit of God. Thank God for the new Pentecost. Come on, give Jesus some praise. See, this is called, I, I, I'm going to give it, I won't give it too much. This is called typology. It, typology means that what well, everything Moses did, it happened, but it was a type. It was symbolic until it was fulfilled by Jesus. Moses, it was a 50-day interval. Moses went up to Mount Sinai. He came down with the law. Jesus rose from the dead and ascended up to Mount Zion. And when he went to Mount Zion, which is the heavenly Jerusalem, he sent back the Spirit. What is the difference? Watch this. Moses, when he sent the law down, came from Mount Sinai. When Jesus sent the Spirit, it came from heaven. The law is earthly, but the Spirit is heavenly. We have a higher covenant, a greater Pentecost, because of the work of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is everything to the believer. He's not some, you know, integral byproduct. He's not just, you know, something we just need every now and then. No, he's everything. Somebody shout everything. That's the problem with the modern church. They put the Holy Ghost on the shelf. When you put the Holy Ghost on the shelf, you're not really a church. Y'all quiet on me. The, the church, everything, our identity is in the spirit. We are led by the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, gifts of the Spirit, fruit of the Spirit. Everything goes back to the Holy Spirit. So Pentecost is a celebration of the Spirit of God. Pentecost is a recognition that God has sent His Spirit. Pentecost is a time, amen, where God is moving among His people. 
What you are seeing even here at times is a demonstration of Pentecost. It is a demonstration of the move of the Spirit, the anointing of God walking among his people. Hallelujah. Not some law, dry religion, amen, but God's divine presence among his people. How many believe that today? It never gets old. It never gets common. I never get enough of it. Amen. Our God can do exceedingly abundantly above that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The anointing's on that strong, isn't it? Come on, lift your hands all over this place. Let's talk about it for just a moment. Can we talk for just a moment? So Moses, when they gave the law, it came from Mount Sinai after being in it for 40 days, which was a total of 50 days from Passover. 10 days to get there, 40 days up there, came down with the law. 3,000 souls were killed. Jesus, in like manner, he doesn't go to Mount Sinai. He goes all the way to heaven. Moses was a man of the flesh. Jesus was a man that was resurrected. So Jesus took it higher and went to Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, sat down at the right-hand side of the Father, and then on the day of Pentecost, God sent the covenant, which is the Spirit. So the Spirit, watch this, God's divine presence is our inheritance. God's supernatural presence is the inheritance of the church. When you don't accept the Pentecost or expect, accept the anointing and the presence of the Spirit, you're rejecting your inheritance. That is the chief of your inheritance. Come on, somebody. That's the, that's the big portion. That's the main portion of your inheritance. Hallelujah. And subsequent blessings of prosperity and all those things. But the main chunk of the blessing is the person and the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's why we celebrate Pentecost. Come on, somebody, if you believe that. That's why we rejoice doing Pentecost. Because now Pentecost, even though we recognize it as a day, is more than a day. It's an era that we live in. We are living in the time of the Spirit. We are living in, in an era of the outpouring of the Spirit. Many people are looking for an outpouring. But ladies and gentlemen, it, he outpoured it 2,000 years ago. He's waiting for you to receive it and to walk in it by faith. The Bible says those that receive the Spirit also should walk in the Spirit. See, this gospel, this word that we have is not natural. It's supernatural. I won't stop preaching it. I won't stop declaring it. It is a supernatural gospel. It transcends time, space, and matter. It's greater than any other message. It's greater than motivational speaking. It's greater than positive thinking. This is the power of the cross and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, which was poured out on the day of Pentecost. Somebody shout Pentecost. Hallelujah. There's nobody like him. But there's a greater depth even than that that most people don't get. It's so great when you understand the day of Pentecost. It's a powerful, it, it brings together a supernatural unity. Here's what blessed me when, my, when first lady and the priest team was worshiping. I began to scan the room. I began to see people from different backgrounds. I've had people you all don't know that reach out to me. You know, they, they hear about the dead being raised. They hear about the prophetic words. But you know what most of them ask me about? They say, how is it that you have so many people from different backgrounds? Come on. From, some from a rural, from, from the city, some from Russellville, some from Louisville, black, white, red, brown. Oh, that's all right to shout. To some people, that's a greater miracle than raising the dead. All I can tell them is the Holy Ghost because I'm not that smart. Come on, somebody. It's a supernatural unity, a culture, amen, a subculture of people, amen, a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You ought to rejoice, miracle life, because you're part of a divine miracle that God is doing that celebrates Pentecost.
I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's almost fun. I mean, we got to hitting the drum, everybody dancing, shouting, drumming. I mean, every, everybody on their own beat, all over, and it's wonderful. Come on, somebody. You ought to give Jesus praise for that. What is it? It is the Spirit of God. It is the Spirit of God. There's no special cultural programs that we do. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just the Holy Ghost touching people prophetically, miraculously, dreams and visions, speaking the language of God, and people responding to the voice of the Spirit. Let me explain this. When the Holy Spirit fell, the reason why he spent the whole chapter describing all the different languages because what the Old Testament law couldn't do, the Spirit can do. Under the law, the covenant was only for those that were of Jewish descent, except a few exemptions if they became proselytes and converted to Judaism. But under Christ, no exceptions are needed. Because the blood of Jesus provides for everybody. There's neither Jew nor Gentile, black or white, red or brown in the spirit out in Christ Jesus. If you still believe that, you ought to give God some praise. What people don't understand, that is part of the blessing of Pentecost. That's what Pentecost represents. It's a celebration of all of different cultures and ethnic backgrounds coming together by divine call of the Holy Ghost. That is what Pentecost represents. It's not only speaking in tongues, but it's drawing people together of different backgrounds from the country, from the city. Let me say it like Deuteronomy. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed going in. You're blessed coming out. Come on, somebody. It's the blessing of Abraham that transcends all races and all people because of the blessing of Pentecost. That is the major component of Pentecost. That's the purpose. Purpose Pentecost was the only, it was the only way of the Spirit that brought all people together. And this, this unity wasn't of the flesh. It's not, it's not a political unity. It's not a social unity. It's a unity of the Spirit. It's a supernatural culture. The Bible calls it a, a nation within a nation, a peculiar people. Do I got any peculiar people in here? Hallelujah. Now, when I say peculiar, you don't mean weird like you think. Peculiar means special. You are a special people, set apart, come on, by the blood of Jesus, sanctified by the Spirit. The word sanctified means to be set apart. You are God's apple to his eye. You are the treasure of his hands. That is what Pentecost represents. It's every culture coming together, a supernatural culture of sons and daughters, brothers and sisters of the Spirit. Oh, my God, that's good to me. Pentecost is both a celebration of the giving of the Spirit, but as much a celebration of a new people, a new kind of people, of all nations, ethnic groups, together in Christ by the Spirit. Somebody shout, it's supernatural. Come on, somebody, it's supernatural. That's why they can't figure it out in the world, because it takes supernatural. That's why you can't even try to vote it and make it work, because it takes supernatural. It takes a touch of God. Hallelujah, because all things are possible to those that believe. I hope I got some help in this place with some people that know how to shout and give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's supernatural. And guess what? It's not something as an accessory. It's a mandate called by God. It's a mandate demanded by Pentecost. It is the fruit of the Spirit. It's the result of the Spirit moving among people. That is one of the identities of the Spirit of different people groups coming together for one cause, one purpose in Christ Jesus himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, hallelujah. It's important. I said it's important. I said it's important. Come on, lift your hands all over this place. It actually is what I'm telling you. I said most people have been taught the word deep enough. 
That is what Pentecost literally is about. Literally. Tongues is the sign. The evidence is the people groups. Y'all didn't get that. Why? Because it takes a greater love. It's easy to love somebody who look like me, who grew up in my neighborhood, who watched the same sitcoms that I watch. But can I love somebody who come from a different culture, a different background, but they love the same Jesus? That is actually what Pentecost is about. Why would he waste an entire text identifying all the people groups? As a matter of fact, tell you what else he did. Under the old Pentecost, only men could participate. When Solomon built the temple and the glory fell, that was actually the day of Pentecost. And the Bible says it was 120 men, priests. But in Acts chapter 1, it makes it very clear. There was 120 gathered, and it actually says it, both men and women. Somebody going to get this in a moment. Pentecost was a game changer. The Spirit of God changed the day. Come on, somebody. If you believe that, ladies, if you believe that, everybody, you ought to give God some praise. My God. Watch me, Omega. Turn me up a little bit. Hallelujah. 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 That's why the Bible says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Do you know when that was prophesied under Joel in the Old Testament? Someone, uh, the Jewish mind uh, that, was, that was under the Old Covenant would have been like, how? That's not possible. Because it was relegated to the 12 tribes. That's why this theology out here, which one is the lost tribe and all this stuff, and who's the real chosen people? Those that have been washed by the blood. Period. Period. Come on, somebody. Woo, it's the blessing of Abraham. Y'all know the blessing of Abraham is, right? He said, Abraham, all nations shall be blessed. That word nation is ethnos. All ethnic groups shall be blessed because of your seed. And that seed is Jesus. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. Shout it one more time. I'm blessed. I'm blessed because of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Watch this. Turn him down just a little bit. Y'all go too loud. Watch this. I want, I want you to understand something. That's why Peter, come on for a second. Peter was struggling with this. Him being a traditional Jewish man and, 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 and I mean, it, so he goes to Cornelius' house. God gives him a vision. He said, don't call anything unclean that I have clean. So he has to go to this, in his Jewish mind, under the law, this unclean Gentile house. And under the law, the tradition, it was actually forbidden for him to even go into that place. But he goes in there and he baptizes Cornelius and his household. And the Bible says, watch this, the Spirit fell on all of them. And when the Spirit fell on those Gentiles, it opened Peter's eyes. Peter said, he actually says this in Acts 10, 38, uh, 37. He says, now I understand that God is no respecter of person. Because he saw, if it's good enough for the Holy Ghost, it's good enough for me. Come on, somebody. Am I in the right place today? Oh, my God. Somebody give Jesus a praise. So Pentecost is a celebration of the outpouring of the Spirit. 
But it's also a celebration of a new day. Of people groups all coming together by the power and the life of the Spirit. A great mystery that all the civilizations of the past could not figure out. It's nothing new, ladies and gentlemen. It's been happening since the beginning of time. Since Noah got off the ark, there's been a division. Y'all quiet. They all went their way. But Christ came, sent his spirit. Come on. That all may be saved. I'm going to say something that's going to shock you. Did you know in the economy of God's kingdom, somebody say God's kingdom. Please hear what I'm saying. That a person in Christ is really in the Lord is actually <laughs> more related or closer to you than somebody of your own blood. Because the Bible says that we are sons of God because of the Spirit. So if I'm a son of God, you a son of God, you a daughter of God, you a son of God, you a daughter of God, you a, uh, a son of God, you a daughter of God, and, and, and you a daughter of God, that means if you're led by the Spirit, you my brother, you my sister, you my brother, you my sister, you my sister, you my sister, and we got the same daddy, and his name is Abba. Come on, somebody. Come on, this is what's happening. That is the sign of the evidence of Pentecost. Come on, lift your hands all over this place. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, the Spirit of God is moving all over this place. There's a fresh anointing being poured out. Come on, the church has to do better. But while they're trying to do better, we're doing it. Come on, somebody. I am not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of of salvation for both the Jew and the Gentile. Let me take it another level. For the blind and the white, come on, and the brown. Come on, somebody. I am not ashamed. Hallelujah. My God. If that makes you uncomfortable, you don't know the Holy Ghost. Come on, he's moving. That is what Pentecost is about. Come on, stand to your feet. We're going to pray for some people. My God. Are, we going to, are you going to celebrate Pentecost with me today? Can you celebrate that word? Come on. Do you believe it? Give him a real good shout of praise. Come on. If you believe it, give him a real good shout of praise. Hallelujah. I believe God has to allow everything else to fail so that you know it's only by him yes, yeah, yeah. that the church is special yes. different peculiar yes. Yes. Woo. I've seen God speak and visit people from the mountains but I've seen him visit and speak to people from the hood that's how I found it I was like wait a minute Woo. well God guess God is no respect to person who am I to argue with God? Hallelujah. 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 If they're good enough for God, they're good enough for me. <laughs> my God. Hallelujah. So I go out of my way. Come on, somebody. It takes a greater love. Jesus said, he said, don't be like the Pharisees who only greet those who are like Pharisees. It takes a greater love. It does. It takes a special love. Guess what kind of love it is? It takes God's love. Only God's love can do that. Whew. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Come on, I love you, Jesus. A holy people. Not any kind of unity, but a holy people. Washed by the blood. Set aside by the Spirit of God. 
Brothers and sisters in Christ, the next time you think of Pentecost, I want you to think of that. Because that is what Pentecost represents. My God, we worship you in spirit and truth. Come on. Come on, we worship you. We worship you. Come on. We worship you in the Spirit. Come on, somebody. We worship you. Worship you in the spirit, and that's what we're gonna do. My God, we worship you in the spirit, we worship you in the truth, Jesus Christ. We worship you in the spirit. My God. Oh, and that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Come on. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. Come on, lift your hands and worship him. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're gonna do into the holies, into the holies of holy. That's where I wanna be. Into the holies of holy. That's where. We worship you in the truth. We worship you, come on. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're gonna do. Into the holy, into the holy, the holy. Come on, that's it, come on. That's where I wanna be. Come on, brothers and sisters, that's it, come on. Come on.
worship you. That's where I want to be. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. Thank you, Lord. We worship you in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. That's what we're gonna do. We worship you in the spirit. We worship you in the truth. Yes, God. We worship you in the spirit. That's what we're Into the holy, into the holies of holy. That's where I wanna be. Yes, Jesus. Into the holy, into the holies of holy. Oh, that's where. That's where I wanna be. So we came to worship. We worship you. As we continue to worship, I'm, I'm looking and scanning the room, and in the spirit, the Lord began to speak to me. You know how He does that in service with me. And He said, "I want you to begin." He said, "I want you to begin to pray with the women." And I looked at the room. I said, "Well, God, that's everybody." <laughs> Hallelujah. So I said, "God, how are we going to do it?" He said, "Just do it." So He said, "What I want to do? I want all the women to come up. I want we want. I want you to gather up here, all the women." I want to pray with all the women. Gonna, God's going to release something on all the women tonight. We're going to let the Holy Ghost have his way. That means all you men, you can help catch if the Spirit moves that way. We'll just take it one step at a time, whatever God wants to do. Yep, bring them up just a little bit more. Don't, don't, don't double layer them, not yet. Give a little space. Yep, yep. We gotta move you up in just a moment. We wanna see what God wants to do. I want you to look to your left and to your right, if you would, everybody. How many is in Christ up here? How many love Jesus are here? Everybody. So that those are your sisters right there. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, lift your hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have men behind. I never know how the Spirit of God's going to move. Just say something, Chad. Get some help. Grab somebody else. If you need some help. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Watch down there. We loose. Touch. Oh, wow. We loose that anointing for the power of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Oh, my God. Touch. Fire. We loose that anointing. Oh, my God. We, you want that anointing? Lift your hands. Lift your hands then. Amen. Come on now. You know, well, you know what? Come on, somebody. She wants that enough. You know, sometime, sometime you got to get sick and tired. See, I, 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 I was sick and tired a long time ago. Lift your hands. Receive it. Father, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fire all over her. Woo. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Give me another lady. Come on. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We loose that. Oh, my God. 
my God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to pray for the Lord. Father, we thank you for the anointing. Touch. Oh, that's, wow. that's glory all over her. My God. Yep, go ahead. We love you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Everybody, all the men out there, come on. Let's continue to pray and worship the Lord. That's a confirmation that God is doing something. But you know what? I want you to be that passionate like the Word of God is about this. I want you to be that passionate, amen, for all people. God, brought, God The Spirit of God is calling men, women, black, white, red, and brown. You should be just as passionate. Y'all quiet. Hallelujah. Bless your Father. Touch. Ooh, that's glory all over. Watch behind you, Eric. Hallelujah. We loose up. God bless you. Girl. Touch. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fire. We bless that anointing. In Jesus' name. Come on, there's nobody like him. Come on, there's nobody like him. This young lady right here, could you bring her to me? I don't know her. I don't know if I've ever seen her before. God's doing something in her. Bring on the carpet right here. Bring on the carpet, fellas. Quick, quick. Don't think. Bring her. Come on. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Sweetheart. Have you ever been here before? No? I didn't think so. I never lift your hand. We have hundreds of people that come here. But God's doing something in you that's special. God said, I'm renewing something in you that was lost many years ago. And the Lord Jesus said, today I have found you. And I'm going to reveal my glory, my presence like it once was before. Oh, thus saith the Spirit of God, though you had strayed at one time, I'm bringing you back. And it's all been forgiven. And I'm going to reveal my glory to you once again like before. And I'm going to show you my presence even today. Even after today, there should be an anointing of fire that falls upon you. I loose that anointing in the name of Jesus. Woo! Come on, somebody. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. The Lord said, be holy. Holy, for I am holy, says the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, bring him up. Come on, fellas. Hallelujah. Come on, quick. We got more room over here as well. Yes, that's the glory all over. Amen. That's fine. Bring others here. Go, 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 go. She's there. You go to somebody else. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, we love you. Bring her up, Eric. Come on, Eric. You got to handle that, not me. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we loose that touch. Fire. Oh, my God. That's fire all over here. Fire. Oh, that's the glory of the Lord. That's the glory of the Lord. Walk around, fellas. Walk around. Hallelujah. Be quick. Hallelujah. My God, there's nobody like Jesus. Bring them over on the carpet. Bring them on the carpet. Hallelujah. We bless it be the name of the Lord. Glory. Oh, my God. Touch, touch, touch. Touch. Come on, ladies. The power of God is moving right there. Get in the right situation, Eric. You look around. You have to do that, not me. My God, we bless it be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you for God, the fire of God. Oh, that's all over her right there. Look at that. My God, somebody say a touch of the Lord. Woo! Just Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. We can bring some people in here. We're going to, yep. As soon as they get up, move them out just really quick. Go ahead, grab them by the arm. Help them out quickly. Grab them by the arm right there. Help her out, Chad, right there. As quick as possible. Woo! Ladies, Hallelujah. Make sure somebody's behind both these ladies, Brother Don. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Touch. Ooh, that's glory all over them. That's glory all over them. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly. Right there, yep. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Lift your hands there if you could. Jesus, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fire, we thank you, Lord. Touch. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fire from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We thank you, Lord, for your divine touch. There it is. Touch. Complete healing. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, the thing that... The, the, oh, my, uh, uh, shikul, Rabbi. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the King of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We thank you, Lord, for your touch. Fire. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' wonderful name. We thank you for the touch of the Lord. Lift your hands, sweetheart. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. God has a call on your life. You know that. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
Deborah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Father. We love you. We love you. Deborah, fellas. Hallelujah. Any other ladies standing at this opening? Bring them on up here. We love you, Jesus. Come on, God. Bring, bring them back. Let them go. Once they're gone, let them go. Hallelujah. Bless your father. Bless your father. Come on, he's doing something in this place. Abu Uribu Sipurabaraba. Shukubadaba. You know, a lot of times when you study the Bible, God will start things with women and, and to the men figure it out. He does. When Jesus rose from the dead, the women were there and to the men figured it out. Now, women, you need men too. But there's an interesting way God does things. It's a dynamic. Touch. Fire. Fire. We loose that anointing. My God. We love you, Jesus. Ooh, total healing in your body. Jesus. Yeah, total healing. Ooh. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Ooh. Blessed be the, ooh, in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Fire upon that. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. The name that's above every name. We worship you. We worship you. Come on, give me a real good shout of praise, can you? Come on, hey! Hey! God, there's nobody like you. Woo, how many are blessed today? Come on. Pentecost, come on. Come, Cassandra, if you would stand. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Thus saith the Spirit of the Lord. For I say this under the spirit, not as a man, but I have crowned you. I have crowned you with royalty, and you walk in my glory and my presence. For I stand with you, and I walk with you, and I comfort you, and I keep you. For the spirit of the Lord has called you. And there are times, there are times, there are times, there are times that you walk in my authority. I bless you. I continuously visit you. My see, I bless you for the spirit of the Lord's upon you. I loose the anointing. There it is, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Touch, God. We thank you, Lord. We touch. Come on, God. Come on, Jesus. Come on. 
Reach down and get him, brothers. Reach down and get him. My God. My God, hallelujah. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We God's worship you now. in spirit and in truth. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We're almost done. Just a few more moments. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We worship you in spirit and in truth. We worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to pray for a couple more people as the Spirit of God leads me. Spirit and in truth. We worship you in 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 spirit and in truth. We love you, God. Bring her. I just saw the glory. Pick her up. The glory's on us strong. Bring her. I want to. That's okay. Bring her up. I know she wants to hold, but it's that's, the Spirit of God's on us strong. Don't worry about it, Joyce. Stand back there. Just a moment. Lift your hands, sweetheart. <laughs> Somebody move that pulpit behind them. That's fine. Touch. That's fine. That's fine. It's too much noise. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Pray for a couple more people as the Lord. God is touching you. Yep, bring it. God is touching you. Lift your hands. I saw the Lord touch you while you were sitting there. Close your eyes. The Lord has something for you. My God, we bless him with the touch of the Lord. Touch out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Fire upon him. Fire upon him. Bless your Father. Bless your Father. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. More fire on his life more fire in his life in Jesus name I hear the Lord say this day for the spirit of the Lord moves in this place and the word that I've said has been confirmed the Lord said stand support this place for it's special there are many that watch and wonder if it will last <laughs> but it has last and it shall grow and this should not only be in this city but it shall extend it shall extend to other cities other places other regions other nations hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My friend, you keep coming to me. I want to pray for my friend. He's a visitor. Yeah, you with her? Yeah, I want to pray with you. If she get a touch, that means you need to get one too. Uh, hallelujah. God bless you. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but I just want God to bless you. Amen. Could you lift your hand? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the anointing. I want you to do something in my prayer. I want, you, I want you to say, Lord Jesus, touch me. That's all it takes. Father, we thank you. We loose that anointing. Bless you, God. We loose that anointing. Come on, we loose. Come on. We no one you. likes Jesus. We worship you. Come here. Hallelujah. I was walking away, and the Lord said, I have not given up on you. Hey. Lift your hands. You didn't say that, but you have thought that. God has not forgiven, given up on you. He has not given up on you. Lord, let the angels of the Lord continue to visit her. Let the glory of your presence and the Spirit of God and the fire of God now loose her by the power of the Holy Ghost. My God. Come on, we worship you. We worship you. Come on, we're almost done. Come on, the spirit. We worship you in the truth. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, we in the 
seated for just a moment. We're going to get you out of here in just a moment. Hallelujah. Wow. Whew. Woo. My goodness. This is a serious thing, isn't it? Hallelujah. God is doing something. You can't fight against what God is doing. Hallelujah. So many layers. Man, God is doing some great things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Your holy name. Come on, your holy name. We bless your name, your holy, magnificent name. I want to take offering, but I just want to wait just for a few seconds because I move with the Spirit right now. My God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith contend for the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. You have to contend for some things. Y'all have seen me contend. <laughs> there are times you got to wage war and fight for the faith. Hallelujah. And the message I preach today, I contend for it. I never have back down. I won't tomorrow. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> glory because I see the fruit of it. I see people being blessed. I see people being touched. I see visitations going to people of all different backgrounds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nobody like the Lord. So awesome is our God. Let's do this. Let's move into our offering. We're going to stay in worship mode. Don't switch the music out though. We're going to stay right there. We're going to take our offering. Amen. I won't spend a lot of time. I know that you all have been taught and understand the word of God when it comes to giving. Those that are members and tithers, we want you to tithe today and believe God. We've seen so many financial, supernatural, middle. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you. I'm telling you, it's, it's just been literally almost ridiculous in a good way of how people have been blessed financially. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. So as you get your offering together, we're going to collect the offering just a moment. When you have your offering together, I want you to lift your offering up to the Lord. We, Pastor Lonnie said there's even been pastors because, you know, when, when, when I, I know when we came here, we didn't know anybody and I think from a distance, people, they hear about miracle, miracle life. I go, what's going on? And they say, well, you know, how, how are they surviving financially? And I said, man, we, we are blessed. This, I mean, it's phenomenal. We have no debt in this church. And Hallelujah. To be honest with you, God has so blessed this ministry that probably if we wanted to, we probably just go buy a new location cash. We didn't have to take a loan. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now, anybody know anything about church? You know, that's a miracle. No outside support. No, no, I don't have organizational money that comes in. It's because of your obedience and your giving to the Lord to help sustain and carry the work of God. I've always said you can have a heavenly vision, but it takes finances to carry it in the earth. I've known men and women who are anointed and prophetic, but they couldn't get their vision past the first block because they didn't have the finances to move it in the earth. It is a principle of seed, time, and harvest. As long as the earth remains, that's the way things are prospered in the earth. If you take that out of the equation, I don't care how anointed you are, I can tell you from my own experience. You can see Jesus and have visions and have a healing anointing, but unless, watch this, the supernatural giving and seed time and harvest, that vision cannot go forward. Come on, do y'all believe that? Come on, I did a whole teaching on that for two weeks. Praise God. So it's through your giving. You're sowing and God's going to bless you back, but also you're expediting and expanding the vision of the Lord. You're taking this experience and pushing it throughout the earth. Hallelujah. Because finances have authority in the earth realm. Not in the heavenly realm, but in the earth realm. So you can have a heavenly vision, but you can't move it in the earth. So I thank God for all of you. Let's bless the offering. Father, we thank you for supernatural breakthrough of every person in this house financially. Thank those that are sowing tremendously, those that have given much. Some have even given their last. Father, we thank you for supernatural increase, Father. We thank you for not 30, not 60, but 100-fold return. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, shout amen. Praise God. Come on, let's go ahead and collect the offering. In Jesus' name, somebody will be around and grab the offering from you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Nobody like Jesus. Prophet Stacks, I just keep wanting to call on you. I know you're back there with a the mask, but I, I want you to pray or something or whatever. If you could you come up here, is it okay to do that? I want you to. Can we get a, 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 a yep a good mic there? Glory to God. Since God had a special touch for the ladies, what what better person under the anointing to? To pray amen ladies praise God yeah. glory to God whatever God prayed whatever God give you I don't praise care the Lord I know it's the Holy Ghost because I was sitting there and I'm saying Lord I I gotta sow a seed today I I I, I gotta put something extra in the ground it's Pentecost I I at least gotta give 50 I mean uh some of y'all can do 500 or somebody can do a 5,000 but you need to get an extra seed in the ground. This is not me, but it's the Holy Spirit. Apostle ain't told me to say nothing. Oh, no, you didn't know I was calling But you. it is the Spirit of the Lord. I need you. Who's going to stand with me with a seed today? I don't care if you got $5. If you got 10 I need you to get a seed in the ground today. Because see, that $50 ain't going to pay all my bills. But the principle of it is going to go in the ground and it's going to bring me a mighty harvest. Glory. So if you need God to do something supernatural and miraculous with your finances, today is your day. Let's get a C in the ground. We gonna wait on them first lady. Come on, get your get your seed, get your seed, get your seed, get your seed in the ground. Get your seed, get your seed, get your seed in the ground. Get your seed, get your seed, get your seed in the ground. Get your seed, get your seed, we're waiting on you. Hey, let me know when you're ready. I'm sorry, Apostle. I just had to obey the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. Huh? Hey, hey, 
I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for a miracle. You looking for a miracle. Get your seed in the ground. I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for a miracle. I'm looking for a miracle. Get your seed in the ground. Seed, seed, ha. Better see your harvest. Whatever you believe in the Lord for, get your seed in the ground. Hey, you got your seed in the ground. You got your seed in the ground. We getting ready to pray. You got your seed in miracle life. It's getting ready to grow. You got your seed. Lord, we thank you that our seed is in the ground. Not just any ground, but good ground. We thank you for your people today. Lord, you know what we need. Some of us is needing a miracle. Lord, some of us need a miracle in our body. Lord, some of us need a miracle in our family. Lord, some of us need a miracle in our finances. But Lord, whatever the miracle is, we thank you that we got a seed in the ground and that it's coming up a mighty harvest. We thank you, Lord, that it's going to come up and we're going to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Lord, we thank you for apostle and first lady. We thank you for the work that they're doing in this house. We thank you for the work they're doing in the earth. We thank you for the people of God here today and those that are yet to come. Lord, we know that they're coming from the north, south, east, and west. And Lord, we praise you in advance for what you've already done in the heavenlies that's getting ready to be manifested in the earth. So, Lord, we thank you today, and we praise you for what you're doing that we know not of. So we plead the blood over your people. We plead the blood of our leaders. We plead the blood of our goings and in our comings. And, Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, if you believe your seed has just manifested and produced your harvest, you better give God a crazy praise. Give him a crazy praise. Praise God, praise God. What an awesome night. Listen, we got one more announcement. Prophetess Stacks will be powerhouse. There's a women's conference this upcoming Friday. Amen, amen. 7 p.m. So listen, amen, all of our ladies, we want you there, amen. I know it's going to be a dynamic service. The pastor is uh, Pastor Ford Husky. It's at Powerhouse. 7 p.m. this upcoming Friday. Praise God. At uh, I'm not sure Powerhouse's address, but we'll get the information out to you. Look for us through text, also on Facebook, 7 p.m. Central Standard if, if, Time. If you can attend, please be out there to support it's not very far from here. This Friday night, 7 p.m., this lady, Prophetess Stacks, is going to be ministering. Amen. Go support her. Part of Miracle Life. Praise God. Amen, amen. Listen, what an awesome night we had. Praise God, praise God. Before I forget, listen really quick. If I can get everyone to sit down, I want to acknowledge a few people. We had a graduation. Brother T, come up here really quick, Brother T, with me. Hallelujah. We want to celebrate him for a moment. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Minister Chad, he graduated uh, college. Amen, he's here. Amen. Turn around that way for me. And uh, brother, um, 
um, Brother Raglan, amen, that's part of the ministry too, Tobian Raglan. He's not with us today. He graduated on yesterday. And uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Isaiah, Brother Isaiah Collins, amen, one of his associates, amen. He's working on his bachelor's, amen. I noticed when Brother T came in, and, amen, he came in graduation ready in his robe. So what a way to put a praise on it, brother. God bless you. Amen. Can we give him one more clout? Amen. Minister Chad, Brother T, Tobian, and Isaiah. Amen, amen. Really, really quick, also with Minister Chad, I want people to really understand. I thank God for all of them, but he literally graduated from Oral Roberts University with his master's degree. Amen. So isn't that awesome? And dealing with ministry. So you should be pretty smart. <laughs> oh, whatever. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a praise. Glory amen. to God. Glory be to God. Can we stand to our feet? Listen, don't forget this upcoming Saturday, amen, if you're registered for the Virtual School of Prophetic, 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 930 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then, to, uh, excuse me, Sunday, May 30th, we will be in our Louisville location, 6706 Terry Road at 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 930 a.m. Central Standard Time. So we're so excited what God is doing. Amen. All of the ladies, amen. If you can, please join Prophet of Stacks this upcoming Friday at Powerhouse Ministries. Pastor is Pastor Ford Hudson at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Did you receive tonight? Did you receive tonight? Hallelujah. On the count of three, we're going to shout hallelujah, Jesus. Church will be dismissed. One, two, three. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise God. Make sure you greet someone on the way out. Hallelujah.